Hey, it's Pete. I made a thumbnail. I was practicing, looking around YouTube, found a short video on how to make thumbnails with your Instagram, uh, which I figured I'd try out, and it worked out okay. So once I had a thumbnail, they said I might as well just get off the bench and start posting instead of just the little shorts I've been doing for practice. This is still a practice video. It's my first video. And what I'm reading is uh, this on my e-reader. That's a screenshot because the actual cover is so bland. I'll show it to you. Where is it? Look, that's what they put on the actual ebook. How exciting. Uh, but it's by Lauren D. Esteman, who's one of my favorite writers. He wrote an excellent, since people are talking about Sherlock Holmes this month, he wrote an excellent pastiche called Sherlock Holmes vs. Dracula, which is maybe the best pet. Not that I've read all the pastiches, but maybe one of the best I've read. Uh, I really liked it a lot. He wrote another one called uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Holmes, which I had high hopes for. It wasn't nearly as good. But uh, this is Frames is the first uh, book in his series about Valentino, who is a film archivist who works for the uh, UCLA Film Society, I think and you know gets in, gets into mysteries uh, when he's out trying to trying to hunt down lost footage and forgotten films and stuff so it's got a lot of film history and things like that that I enjoy uh, this is the first novel in the series he had a collection of stories about the same character as well which I read can't remember the name of it right now um, I read it a while ago uh, so I'm, I'm anxious to get into these Valentino is a, he's a one named character he's just Valentino he's handsome like the movie star Valentino these are set in modern times for some reason everyone he encounters does remember Valentino the silent film star asks him our Valentino the hero if he's related to him and he isn't so he finds that a little interesting so I'm getting into the series there's like seven of them I think seven, six or seven the third one I'm really looking forward to because it looks like it's related to James Whale's uh, Frankenstein film, the original Frankenstein film from 31, which is one of my favorites. So I want to read this series and see how it goes. Other than that, uh, I'm in Saranda. I was going to do this on the porch, on the patio out here, because I've never had a patio. Then a jackhammer started, so I moved inside. But I love the idea of sitting out on my patio temporary patio, Airbnb patio, and reading some books, and and just enjoying life. Let's see what else I got to talk about. Anything else? What did I just finish? I just finished uh, a book called The a Dictator Calls, is the title of it. It's by Ishmael Kadari, I think. That's how you pronounce the name. He's the famous Albanian writer that people probably have heard of if they've heard of uh, if they're into literature modern contemporary European literature and it was an interesting book I'd read another one by him before which was called uh, The Trader's Niche The Trader's Niche I guess which I really liked a lot um, which is set it sort of uh, uh, I, I don't know what century but during the Turkish uh, occupation of Albania the Ottoman Empire, and it was a great. That was a great story about this guy who's charged with bringing back the head of an Albanian rebel king to stick in to to bring him back to Istanbul and stick in this this niche and stuff that happens on his journey. His books are quite short. This one that I just read called "A Dictator Calls" is about a phone call between Stalin. Oh, I'm giving it away. Anyway, Stalin and um, Pasternak, Boris Pasternak, uh, the author of Dr. Zhivago, and really reading A Dictator Calls made me want to read Dr. Zhivago, which I've never read. Of course, I know the movie, and I look for it online. It's, it's a contemporary translation of it, but I kind of want one of the older translations. So, I don't know. There was one other thing I wanted to cover. I guess I should have made notes. You know, live and learn. Uh, this is my 
first video, I'll try and do a couple a week for a while before I do anything like a tag or anything to say what I want to talk about because I go through different phases with, with what I'm reading. I like to read a lot of genre books. Obviously, I'm reading Mysteries now and uh, SF, and, and then other times I want to read a lot of uh, classics or pseudo-classics since I guess some people complain that other people's uh, definition of classics is not acceptable. I noticed that on one of my favorite channels, uh, Book Time with Elvis with Mark. Uh, someone was giving him a hard time, I think, about calling uh, Three Men in a Boat a classic, but uh, I call it a classic. I guess I call any uh, old book that I like from before 2000, before the, for, before the, the 20 hundreds a classic, I don't know. Okay, that's probably enough for now. Just practicing. I will do this again.